So um, after you have done this, remember we use fishing line to tie up these two. You can put it anyhow, just to ensure it's beautiful. So after tying up these two, we now pick the flower, uh, the flower itself. Take your plier and cut off this portion. After cutting it off, when you open it, you notice there are plastics or rubbers in, in the form of a cup holding the flowers together. Try to cut off some portion of it. Just cut it so that you can be able to open up the flower. You see, with this I can easily do this. Then check again. There's another one, this green one. Also try to make it flexible by cutting it a little. Just like as if you are breaking something. Look at this, we cut off some. As if we are breaking it. So after this, what we'll now do is this. We'll use the glue gun to apply some glue here on the eye on itself. Sorry, let me push it a bit. Okay. We'll apply some glue. to hold it up and we'll hold it firmly together for a while so hold it firmly together for a while this flower one they are repeating the same thing on this end We'll apply some glue here. And then we'll take the second flower and we do the same thing. family you might decide to fix this one somewhere in between it or to just leave it like this but in case you want to put two or more flowers you can go ahead so for the back these are also part of these flowers removed from the tree so what we'll do is to also apply some glue to the back of the loop or hook and then we cover it up this way to repeat it to this end so see how the back looks like and see how the front looks like so with this we have come to the end of making a bridal hoop for your bridal train this is it
ya wɔbɛtu fruits.